Hello, welcome back to my channel, Outdoor Pursuer. I'm in my kitchen here today um, to provide a little bit of context here um, in light of recent events, what's going on. Um, I had gone out to the store to get ingredients for uh, in order to make tacos and I thought I had some packets of taco seasoning here so I didn't bother getting them at the store I didn't bother checking to see if I had any here or not either so when I got home I realized that I didn't have these and instead of going back to the store again and putting myself or other people at risk um, I decided to see if I could make taco seasoning with the seasoning with seasonings that I have here at home. And much to my surprise, one of the recipes that I found I actually had every spice in order to make that, which I thought was kind of surprising. Um, but a lot of these you can find um, at home for yourself. Most of them you may have, some of them you may not, there's a few. Anyways, I thought I would share this with everyone um, because it's quick and easy. And it actually uh, tastes pretty good. I went ahead and used this once already. Um, it, I like my tacos a little more spicy than normal. So I actually, the next time that I did make it, I doubled the recipe. So that's what I'll be doing here is that I'm going to double the recipe um, it, for one pound of ground beef. So you can um, just divide that in half if you don't want to make it as spicy as I do. Um, so let's just get right into it. I think I've talked enough. Alright, first ingredient is going to be chili powder. And I'm going to do four tables, sorry, four teaspoons of the chili powder. Next is going to be paprika. Then I'm going to do three teaspoons of this one. Next is onion powder, and I'm going to do two teaspoons of onion powder. Next is sea salt, and you're just going to do one teaspoon of sea salt. Garlic powder. You'll do one teaspoon of garlic powder as well. Next is 
<clears throat> sorry, next is ground cumin, and this is also one teaspoon. One teaspoon of oregano leaves, or just plain oregano. I'm not sure why it's named oregano leaves, but oregano, oregano. Uh, then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of black powder. Sorry, not black. Black pepper. This one's more of an approximation, too. Uh, the recipe calls for a pinch of cayenne pepper. I'm just going to go ahead and do a fourth of a teaspoon. Also calls for a pinch of red pepper flakes. I'm just gonna do one fourth of a teaspoon. There you go. That's that is all of the ingredients in order to make this taco seasoning at home. Um, last step that I go ahead and do, I just take a fork and mix all of it together. Uh, <clears throat> usually when you buy a packet of taco seasoning at the store, it calls that you, after browning the meat, you add, uh, I think a cup and a half to two cups of water per pound of ground beef. Uh, and so that's what I go ahead and do after browning it. Uh, when I add the water, I just add the taco seasoning at the same time and then boil it down until all of the water is gone. And there you can have your taco seasoning. I encourage everyone to try this. It's I thought it was actually pretty good. And this is the only way that I'm going to make taco seasoning from now on. All right, there you have it, guys. Uh, that was the homemade taco seasoning. If you enjoyed that video and would like to see more similar videos like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, etc., drop those down below. I would like to hear feedback from you guys, so I'm <laughs> know what content to put out for you um, and I encourage you to try this taco seasoning it was really good uh, a lot of these ingredients you can find at home some of them you may not have um, of course you know the cayenne the red pepper the chili powder that kind of stuff is what gives the taco seasoning its, its kick um, the garlic and the salt kind of helps simmer it down balance out gives it a really well-rounded flavor and uh, it smells delicious. I can smell it from here still and can't wait to actually start eating here soon. Um, any, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you outdoors.